Okay, I was trying to get to this video a little bit earlier, but I am running behind. I always try to give tips to get through the last week or so before, you know, the barns burst and all of that. Um, so hopefully everybody had watched the videos and had seen where I do it every, every month. Um, if you followed the videos, you know that um, I always encourage not to just sell off your barn space, but to, you know, make things with it and sell those things if you need to. We've got right now, let's see, seven hours until the barns burst. And then, and that's if you've purchased the monthly, uh, the monthly challenge where at the bottom you can spend uh, $20. I don't know if when you spend the lesser amount, it is the one thing that I always do get every month because I think it's way worth it because it just gives so many things. It it brings your Hafeds back sooner, like two hours and 45 minutes, and your, um, you know, your storks back and everything faster. So I'm just going to run through a few things real quick and... Make sure you guys have everything ready to go. Um, one of the things um, very soon is going to be your fishing game. We we normally, or your, your bottle caps, sorry. Your bottle caps game. And we normally have that every month. So I kind of, if, if I'm not doing the secret spring every day, which right now I'm not because it's been kind of busy with everything. Um, I go ahead and get this completely ready to go for the, for the bottle caps. And how I do that is make sure these are all filled in that way when I come in and grab them they can you know you can just already get uh, let me see I need a couple more of the uh, of the black fungus but make sure those are filled up so that when you come in you can get bottle caps automatically right off of that one of the things during the bottle caps that you need to keep filled. So don't don't take these off, but leave them on and then make sure you've got, you know, four of these ready to go. So I need to grab a buffalo milk. Let's see what's going on down here in the dolphin habitat. Make a couple of those, make three of those, okay. So I'll just get these ready to go so that I'll have four of them because, you know, up here, these are what you need to get a bottle cap for each one. Make sure you have all of these always set up, ready to go. You know, always, always, always. That way you can come in here and grab them. I just did that one. But just make sure you know they're all, they're all ready to go. And if your crab's here, grab that. This one right here isn't quite as important today because it hasn't started yet. But... It is one of the things where every one of these you get a bottle cap. All right, so that's one thing to kind of, you know, while you're just kind of messing around today, end of the month, get that, get that going. I, you know, I always talk about your barn and silo space and to get that, you know, down. So I try not to sell as much right away, and but I try to utilize it. And that's what I always tell you guys to do. You know, clean up your farm too. Like right here, I see a, a dead tree. So we're going to bring that down. I have a dead tree area. And just put it down there. And try to clean as you go. Get your trees all put back in. Because once tomorrow starts, it's going to be busy. Um, i trying to think like... It, it'll be tonight for some of us, but tomorrow for a lot of people too. So just go ahead and get, get all cleaned up and ready to go into the month cleaning. Put all your trees back in place. Get our date tree. Right, and you know, and the ways you can get rid of your inventory is to do your do your boat orders. Go and fill your guild swap if you have anything that anybody needs. You know, fill the guild swap up. 
and you'll want to come over here and first check your lucky parcel and I've got four so I'm going to collect these four I'm going to go ahead and open this up just kind of you know just kind of do a little cleanup on your farm get yourself feeling good do whatever hot fed you can the thing I'm always saying is you know work on one crate at a time like this one I'll mark these two and actually I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one because it's I've got the rest of them done but I try to work on one crate at a time that way it doesn't cause a problem when you need to mark something but you can't so we're gonna finish up all these monthly things we've got the clothing store what I've been doing in the clothing store is you know I've just been trying to get as much as possible there stored up here I've been trying to sell make and sell everything so I can be done and you know try to make money with it I did get all the Halloween costumes so right now I'm just uh, trying to collect as many light bulbs as possible as many coins as possible I did build the storage up quite a bit in case it folds over and I actually do need to use these three things so I'll put those out so I can use them but just you know keep working on this a little bit do your takeout orders so that you know you can get rid of as much inventory as possible now I got another dead tree but with those I have extra ones so I just usually revitalize those ones okay and what you want to do is clean up your farm some too and by that I mean go ahead and pull things off your machines and get those ready to go because tonight it, it's going to cause a problem if your barns burst and you have things on there so the reason I did that was to fill the takeout order so we'll kind of come through here some of these things I kind of leave on here because I don't use them very often but you kind of just pull things off your machines that you can that you think you might need you know at least one of the drink machines at least one of the you know dairy machines because when the when that comes up tonight you'll probably need like one of those you might need one of the sugar machines or something to do so whatever I go ahead and I clear my whole field because like when those when those little quest comes up it'll always say plant so many of this so many of that to get you through through it pretty quick but if your fields full and you can't move because your silo has now burst then um, you know you're a little bit screwed so um, I did get mine the silo for me is pretty easy because I don't I, I don't tend to fill it very often so because I'm always selling off my plums or something but and then the barn I got that down too to where you can see that actually I have 2900 spaces so I, I need to get this down just a little bit more because I have 29 and I have 3193 so I need to I need to get rid of a few more things so I'll go through here and I'll get rid of all the things that are from this month anything that I have that you know like I just pulled the the skeleton things off and I still have some of these from here so I'll go through and just keep selling these the rest of the day until I can get down to the 2900 that I need to be at um, what else do you need to do just make sure that you know you're just ready for tonight put away your Halloween decorations a little later tonight if you want to or you can do it tomorrow pull out some of your Thanksgiving things you can always use your your fishing your netting machine if you have extra wool or something to get rid of some things but just you know just get rid of as much as you can do as many of these orders as you can and 
I'm not being a very good example because I don't have any of them ready and I've already gotten rid of these so I'll just go ahead and whoop actually I think I might have wheat flour nope I already used them okay so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the one that I can't do I mean you could look in the market and find it but then you're just buying more things to put in your inventory um, and I do need these so I am going to get them because one of the things I do is make pet food so I'll get some apples and make pet food that's one of the ways I get rid of inventory plus it helps me keep stocked up on it and I can just like leave it on my machine too uh, you know work and do your workshop get things made in your workshop I need green paint to do one more I think I'm gonna level something up today because I had all the stuff for it except for a couple green paints so let's make those I believe it was uh, I think it was my egg house yes I just need one more green paint and I can level up my egg house so that'll that'll take down some of this inventory in my barn and everything um, save your visitor orders so you can utilize them with the new quest because tonight you know Hofed's coming make sure you've got your Hofed all finished up and with my Hofed if you if you uh, went ahead and followed what I tell you guys to do every month right now I'm at 9,007 and I still have tonight to go so I'll have 15 orders that are 25 a piece tonight. Should I still have that? Hafed will change at 11. Actually, I won't still have that. I'll have uh, 10 orders at 20 a piece probably. But still, I'll still be up over the 9,000 that I, I'm trying to get you guys to get to. And make sure it like if you can finish up this side game today try to get this all done so that you don't have to worry about it and have your barn full so you can't fill these orders you know and stuff like that and i think i'm on the wrong thing i just hit the wrong thing why am i hitting the clothing store okay so you know like right now i can trade these in and utilize those still but I have finished it. You know, I might do a couple more slots or something. So, I need cheese, and I don't have any brown sugar in there. I already had the, for the Secret Spring, I already had those done, too. But, you know, just do as much as you possibly can. Barley flour, I don't have any of those going, but I'll go ahead and start a few. Do your bills. Those are precious. I usually don't use them. Fill as many orders as you can today. Because while we still have these things, and maybe still have them in your inventory, you know, you might have some that have some pretty good, you know, points on them that you can finish up today. But just do as much as you can on your farm. Today's the last day for your, your lucky wheel and your wishes. we got seven, almost eight hours left on this. So anything that you're going to get in the book or anything, you might want to go ahead and do that. Or if you accumulate any of these and you want to use them for this. But if not, these will all go on to your regular one. Like how I have 46 of them, it's because I just keep saving them until I actually want to use them for something. So, let's see. I already read this, the Thanksgiving one from the, and this one's already the Thanksgiving one. So you could go ahead and change, you know, your skins and everything and do a Thanksgiving one until we get the new ones. Let's see, where is a Thanksgiving one? There's the Thanksgiving one already. I'll probably leave these guys in their Halloween outfits. I think they're pretty cute. But, I mean, you can just do all these things, get ready for tonight, clean up your farm, you know, like I said, in your warehouse, pick up your inventory and stuff like that, 
of things that maybe if you had Halloween things out, you can put them in your inventory and just get ready. Just get ready. Sorry I didn't do this sooner. But there are lots of ways to, you know, get your inventory down. And I still have a few to go after this green paint's gone. I'll see how far down I am and I'll get it down to where it's not affecting me that much to do any of these things to, you know, go through that quest pretty quickly. Was there anything else yet? Yeah, make sure you collect your pirate ship today. You may have done it last night. Oh, your sunstone tree. I've already got that too. This is the last day of your sunstone tree, so try to get that taken care of and collected for the last time. But just, you know, happy farming. If if you're somebody that likes to clean up your inventory at the end of the month, you know, go ahead and grab your inventory stuff out. Combine if you need to. Let's see, if I combine, I just have gourmet treats to combine. You know, whatever it is that you might need. Check through, get everything cleared up. And happy farming and good luck tonight. And I'll be doing the hot fed video and oh, like tons of videos tonight. So let's just get ready. Have a good Halloween and uh, good luck next month. And don't oh, don't forget that on Black Friday is the biggest sale. It it gives you things that you don't get any other time. And one of those things is a coupon to upgrade your barn or your silo or a machine. And I always use it on the barn or the silo. But they also do, they used to do land upgrade ones too. And that's how I finished up my land one year. I know I've said this before, but I had like three left. So I went ahead and used the sale and did my last three. It took me, the last bit was like all of this down here. And it took me like three years to finish that. I mean, nonstop working on it, three years. I thought I was done when I got, I think it was about down to here, and I thought, oh, I'm done. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I think I'm done, like 50 more of these open up. I might be exaggerating, but it was a lot. And so, so far, so good. I haven't, no more have opened up, but yeah. So I've been completely upgrading my land a couple years. Thank God, until I say that, and then they put more on there. So happy farming. Good luck. We'll see you tonight. Tons of videos. Tons of fun. I saw some people that were getting a little discouraged with the game, but it is it has been hard lately, like just in general, watching the news, seeing what's going on in the world, the whole atmosphere of everything, you know, going I know that it, it gets to everybody, so you know, come into the game, let it be your safe place and you know, come into group and let us be your safe place and just, you know, have a good time. If you need anything, ask. If you um, if you need help with something, like material, supplies, something, or somebody hitting your, you know, something on your farm, let us know. We're always happy to help. We have a, a great couple of groups, for sure. So, the Happy Acres Farming Your Way to Success and the, a Daily Dose of Happy Acres. And we haven't... H5 group, uh, Happy Acres, oh my, a daily dose of farming success, Happy Acres 5, sorry, that one doesn't roll off the tongue quite yet because it's kind of new, but we've got some great people in there too, so just come in and have a good time and uh, meet some people, find a good guild, guilds are always, you know, finding a good guild is always a really a good thing, they, they're like family. Let's see. And in, like in my groups, I have a, a thing for you to, to help you find a good guild. I always put up, I usually kick it up, but people will advertise for a guild. Like right here, we have a thing where, you know, you can go in and you can write about your guild and everything. And you can add neighbors and all kinds of stuff. So... It's a, it's a good time to make some friends. And happy farming, happy acres, farming your way to success. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if there's anything you want to see.